Buying vitamin C supplements can be expensive, confusing, and you probably don't know what will work for you best. And there's so many options out there. And what if you can make that supplement yourself in your kitchen, which is the most absorbable, affordable, and simple way to make your own vitamin C in your kitchen from three ingredients only. So it's super simple water, lecithin, and vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. Before we begin, subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up so you can help me grow my channel. You're probably asking yourself, what the heck is a liposome? Because it sounds like a cuddly pet, like a possum. But this wasn't funny, right? Let me simplify what a liposome is. A liposome is just a fatty pocket that is able to encapsulate water-soluble substance like vitamin C. Vitamin C is water-soluble, and that fatty pocket can transport it directly into the cell. Because, check this out, this is genius. The cell wall is made of phospholipids and the liposome is made of phospholipids. So when they meet, they're like, oh, hi there, I know you. You have phospholipids, I like phospholipids. Let's merge. And then it's delivering the vitamin C inside. Genius, genius, thank you. Okay, traditionally, when you take a vitamin supplement, it will go through your digestive system. It needs to survive the acid in your stomach and then go to the bloodstream and to absorb it into all of your cells in the body delivering your vitamin C. But until it's moving through your digestive system and going into your bloodstream and then delivering it to the cell, it takes a lot of energy from your body to deliver that vitamin C and it's only 50% absorbable, more or less. The liposomes, you're getting almost 100% absorbability. It's amazing. Today we're making 30 grams of vitamin C and on every 30 grams of vitamin C, we will need 70 grams of lecithin. This is non-GMO lecithin. So 30 grams of vitamin C and 70 grams lecithin. Like the price for this is about 20 to $25. Same for the lecithin granules. The lecithin granules, you wanna make sure they're non-GMO. And this is two pounds, 900 grams. This is a supplement on its own, regardless of if you're making liposomal vitamin C or not. Lecithin is 30% of our brain, so mm, sounds pretty important to me. First, we're going to measure 30 grams of vitamin C, and you're gonna use a beaker or a cup and just make sure it's 30 grams. If you don't have a scale, two tablespoons, super full tablespoons are 30 grams. Next, we're gonna add one cup of water to the vitamin C. And one cup of water is about 235 grams to 240 grams, depending on your Google search. <laughs> I use 235 grams. Then you wanna move the beaker to a pot full of water and basically make sure it dissolves until it's clear. And this is a really important step in the liposomal vitamin C making. So the solution and the liposomes can form in the blender, which is our next part. You're going to pour two cups of water to the blender and measure 70 grams of lecithin granules and what's beautiful about mixing it all together, the liposomes are naturally occurring as the blender blends everything together. So you pour the lecithin into the water in the blender, and then we're going to add the vitamin C water solution. This is how the solution looks like before we blend it. And now we're going to blend it for about five to seven minutes on low to medium speed 
and you can see how the color is changing and it becomes this yellowish milky color. Once it's done, you want to move it to a jar and vitamin C is normally sensitive to light and heat so you want to make sure you put it in the refrigerator to settle and cool off. You're also going to see the formation of bubbles above. This will settle in the refrigerator as well. We're going to leave it inside for a few hours and then we're going to repeat the process of blending in the blender. You can use any jar, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure it's closed tight and you can even put around it some aluminum foil to make sure it sits in the dark. Keep in mind that if you follow the amounts, the exact amounts that I mentioned in this tutorial, three tablespoons of liposomal vitamin C solution equals a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. I want to remind you that this is not a medical advice. You will definitely want to consult your doctor about the dose of vitamin C that you're going to be getting every single day. And each of us have different bowel tolerance, meaning I might be able to consume two grams of vitamin C every day as a maintenance dose, and you might be able to get just one gram or maybe 10 grams. So it really depends on your bowel tolerance and you will have to test it on your own to understand what is the opti dose, optimal dose for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I really hope you're gonna make your own liposomal vitamin C at home. And please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you made the vitamin C, if you have some questions, if you're unsure how it came out or if it's good enough. And if you're enjoying and ripping the benefits of vitamin C, I want to know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe right now and give me a thumbs up. It helps grow the channel. I'm super appreciative that you watched it till the end and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.